गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन टर्म टू देर आर थ्री मेन टॉपिक वन इज माई एस टूल सेकेंड वन इज data structure in this uh, we have a data structure we have a one topic that is stack and last one is networking so uh, today we will uh, revise i will revise stack in term one uh, i have already discussed the uh, meaning of uh, stack and the program of stack today i will uh, revise it okay i will discuss this topic again and after that uh, our practical portion will be completed and only practical portion the last chapter networking will be there so after completion of this one we will do the networking so now stack so first of first of all data structure what is the meaning of for data structure data structure so its definition is this term refers to a data collection with well defined operations and behavior or properties so this is a uh, data structure refers to the how your data will be saved in your computer system wo aapke computer system mein usko kaise aap collect karoge aur usko uska behavior kaise hoga iske liye it is a well defined behavior and the properties so now in data structure we included stacks are there queues are there theek hai different things are there but in your syllabus there is only stack okay so stack aapke syllabus mein hai so ab humne discuss karna hai what is the meaning of stack so here stack is a linear list so we will perform this in with the help of list so it is a linear list means in a sequence implement implemented in lifo lifo means last in first out if you are doing fifo first in first out it is queue last in first out means the element inserted in the big uh, inserted at the end will be deleted first okay last in first out manner where insertion and deletion are restricted to occur only at one end that is stack top so isme aapke paas ek aisa structure hai जिसमें आपके पास इंसर्शन और डिलीशन हमेशा टैग के एंड में ही होती है फॉर एग्जांपल इन लिस्ट वी एड टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी वी डिलीट एलिमेंट नो आई विल डिलीट फोर्टी फर्स्ट लास्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट ओके देन आई विल डिलीट थर्टी सपोज आई आई एम गोइंग टू इंसर्ट फिफ्टी तो इंसर्शन एंड डिलीशन हमेशा स्टैक के टॉप में होगी स्टैक के एंड में होगी बिगिनिंग में इंसर्शन या डिलीशन नहीं होगी 
So this type of uh, system is called stack. So it is a linear, clear? It is a linear list implementation. Linear list implemented in LIFO manner, manners, manner which where insertion, clear? Insertion and deletion are restricted to occur only at one end. That is stack top, clear? So now here we have a different term. terms used in this. First is called push. It means what when we enter one value in one element in the list in this stack, it is called push. Pop. When we delete one element from the uh, from the uh, top or from the end of your stack, it is called pop. Then there is peak. It indicates top of your stack. The latest element, which we have insert here, is called prefer to get peak. Clear? So, then is overflow. Overflow when you have only you want to insert only 10 elements. And after 10 elements, if you are going to insert another element, 11th element, so it is an overflow. Clear? Then underflow. So in your list or in your stack, there is no any element. And you want to delete one element, you are deleting one element. This is an underflow situation. So, this is push, pop, peak, overflow, and underflow. Any doubt in this, sir? And there is a, another one, top. Top means latest element index. Clear? So, if you need any doubt in this, Sir, sir, ek bari, sir, peak, eh, na, explain peak and uh, sir, sir, overflow. Don't know, connect bari. Ekubita, overflow in uh, Python, it is not possible. The reason is, ki jab aap C++ me that uh, aap uh, apply karte ho data structure, stack apply karte ho. To C++ me hume, in uh, wahan pe array use karte hai, array ka hume size define karna padta hai beginning me. So, we will write like, suppose, uh, int x 10. It means it is just like a list. Array is just like a list. But here we define the size 10. It means uh, if I am going to insert 11th element in this uh, array, it will generate overflow situation. But this situation is not in the case of Python because in Python, list is a uh, uh, you, you will have uh, you will define the list without its maximum size. Clear, sir. Thick? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Peak B. Okay. Uh, or peak is suppose you have an element in insert here 10. Okay. Then you insert 20. Then you insert 30. And the peak value consists of 30. 30. Yes, sir. Okay, clear? So, sir, 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 so, so, sir, 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 so, Okay. Now I am going to make the program of stack.
So here is uh, my main function I am going to create here. Okay. So I declare one variable top is equal to none. It means I declare one variable having in no any value. And I declare one empty list step. While true, you can also uh, use like uh, uh, we can declare here one variable uh, ch is equal to y. This is your choice with us, okay? And uh, you can use here while ch double equal to y or ch double equal to capital Y. Then I print one menu in this menu stack operation then print one for press one for push push means inserting one element print two for pop for means deleting one element then three to display the top position of your stack print then four for displaying this your stack and print five this is for exit so after that we will receive choice of user so i take one variable choice in input Enter your choice. The choice may be from one to five. The user will have to enter the choice. Now, if twice equal to one, then we will insert one item. We will get the input from the user because we are going to input one item, one element in input, enter item. So we will receive one item from the user. Then Then we will call one function push. We will create one function, user defined function push, in which I will send one uh, list that is a stack and then item which I am going to insert in the list. Then elif twice equal to two. If your twice is two, it means I will have to delete one element. So I am using here item is equal to pop stack. So वहाँ से एक element return होगा, एक return value आएगी, वो किसमें से हो जाएगी? Item में और हम यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे? इसको display करेंगे. If item double equal to underflow. Underflow means there is no any element in the list. So you can't delete the element. That's why if it is underflow, then I print one message that is underflow and stack is empty. Stack is empty. So there is one message. 
and else if there is no any uh, this message is not there item is not and un, un, uh, equal to underflow then print for item is so it will return the item score 30 you believe so it will display 30 the pop item is 30 now elif elif uh, third twice equal to three so we want to uh here in a third position we want to display the peak peak means the uh current position then item is what equal to p stack stack is the list so it will return the latest element and that will be received in the item but if item is equal to underflow so there will be one message print same message okay so we are displaying same message is empty and then else print topmost item is Choice equal to four. If choice is four, it means we will call display function. Okay, we will send one element stack. So otherwise, stack is a global variable. If you are not sending as a parameter, even then you can make the program. So you have to stack for duty. Not that you have to as a you have to very argument based. So even then, it will work better. Elif twice equal to five. It means now we want to break the loop. Okay. We, in case twice is four means you are not, you don't want to continue this. And else it means if the user enter any other choice like the six, seven, eight, like print invalid twice. Then we will get the input of CH. Do you want to continue? The user will give the answer in yes, Y or N. So now, uh, yes, student, any doubt in this? Arushi, any doubt in this, Vita? No, sir. So these are my uh, the bot the main part of your program. Now, if the user press one, then we will have to make one push function. Okay, so how we can make push function by using def keyword name is push. It will receive uh, one uh, the stack. So here stack is a global variable stack. So, I have to take STK. Okay. So, it is a same, a, uh, it is an actual parameter. Then, item, the element which you want to add in the list. Then, STK dot append. If I want to add one item in the list, there is an append function. Okay. Now, my top will be updated. Now, top will be length of stk minus one why minus one because if there are 10 elements in the my uh, my list the uh, index of uh, latest element the, uh, is nine clear so one because indexing is always start from zero now pop in the case of pop we will receive one parameter and uh, in case if is empty, if uh, you can say if uh, 
एस टी के इज डबल इक्वल टू केयर ब्रैकेट इट मीन इट इज एम टे इट मीन वी विल रिटर्न अंडर फ्लो बिकॉज वी कॉन्ट डिलीव द एलिमेंट इट इज अंडर फ्लो सिचुएशन एस रिटर्न Uh, and in the case of else item is equal to stk dot pop so the pop function will delete one element and after deletion the pop function will return one value that will be saved in item clear so wo item mein save ho jayegi or after deletion if length of stk is equal to 0 top is equal to none so agar is deletion ke baad usme koi element hi nahi hai to top none ke equal ho jayega else top is equal to length of stk minus 1 and रिटर्न आई तो जो भी हमने एलिमेंट डिलीट किया उसको हमने रिटर्न कर दिया इसमें एनी डाउट इन दिस नो सर ओके नो इन केस फंक्शन पीक तो पीक विल टेल अस द लेटेस्ट एलिमेंट तो हियर वी विल सेंड वन स्टैक देखो यहां पे दिया हुआ है क्लियर we will send one list and if stk double equal to here back starts here back close it means it is return under flow else top is equal to length of stk minus 1 and we will return stk top we will return the value okay then display So it will receive STK and uh, if STK double equal to square bracket starts square bracket close. So you have a stack empty here. So print stack is empty else. top is equal to length of stk minus 1 okay students printing of stack is always from the uh, last element to first element in a reverse order clear so we are using here print we will display the uh, this uh, in a reverse order so we will revert uh, uh, use for loop for a in the range so starting is top okay the latest element and it will be go up to minus 1 1 minus 1 means up to 0 and it is in a reverse order and we will print stk a and if you want to don't don't want to change the line then end is equal to like this 
So this is my complete program. I'm going to save this with the name stack. I'm running the program. Here, double equal to for comparison. Okay, uh, here are uh, five options are here. If I am going to push one element, for this I press one, enter the item, I press 10. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, now uh, enter again, one, I enter 20. Do you want to continue? Yes, I press one and I enter 30. So three elements I added. Now I display these elements. So these are 30, 20, 10, okay? 30, 20, and 10. Do you want to continue? Yes, I press two. So form item is 30. So one element deleted. I display the elements, four. So it is 20 and 10. Do you want to continue? Yes, I press two. So 20 will be deleted. Then again, for I press three. We will just tell us the top most item is 10. I'm now going to delete that. I press two. Now for the item is 10. And now continue. I display four. So stack is empty. If I try to delete it again, I press two. So underflow stack is empty. So this is a complete program of stack. Kashish, oh, sorry, Shitech is it's clear, beta? Shitech? Yes, sir. Any doubt in this, beta? No, sir. Kishpaneer? Yes, sir. Any doubt, beta? No, sir. Okay, beta, I will send this coding uh, through WhatsApp, okay? So, if you have any coding, if you have any problem, then you will have to go through it. So, I will discuss this with you. In the case of your stack, there are some important terms. So, stack is a linear list implemented in LIPO manner. Where insertion and deletion are restricted to occur only at the one end stack top. So LIPO stands for last in first out. It means if you are going to insert the element, it will be at the end. And if you are deleting the element again, it will be at the end. Okay, beginning may say delete hoga and say delete hoga. So there are some more terms. One is called push. Push means inserting one element in the list. Pop means it is operation to delete one element from the end. Okay. Then peak function is a uh, peak operation is a uh, is used to display the latest or top most value of any stack. Overflow is a situation where we are going to add the element above the limit. Okay. But in Python, there is no any underflow situation. Overflow situation is a situation where we are going to delete the element from an empty stack. And top is the index of topmost value. Okay. This is called the top. So this is a, uh, in this my coding, I use here one variable top, another is stack, then I display, uh, I display here, uh, I, uh, here is one loop, it will run if 
the value of CH is equal to y. And here is a one menu, a menu here, two, one for push, two for pop, three for peak, four for display, five for exit. This, uh, the, uh, the, that is always displayed from the, in a reverse order. It means latest element you will display first and the first element that is in a zero position will be displayed at the end in a reverse order. Okay. Then if I press one, we will call push function. If I press two, I will call pop function. And if I press here three, it means I will call peak function. And if I press four, I will call display function. And in this function, uh, I'm going to discuss these function. In push, we will receive stack and its item. Then we will use append function to add one element. And then we will update the value of pop. Pop will be length stk between length and minus one because uh, your uh, list is always start from the zero. So that's why. Then uh, we use pop function. If stack is empty, so it will return underflow. So Jesse underflow return hoga. So agar aapke paas item agi underflow, okay? In that case, there will be one message underflow stack is empty. But in case it is not empty, in that case one element deleted and deleted item will be saved in item. Clear? Yeah? So agar deletion ke baad stack zero ho jaye stack ki length usme koi element nahi hai to top aapne none kar dena otherwise top kya kar dena minus my length of the stk minus one or return item jo bhi aap element delete karoge uski value aap return karoge and that value will be received in item and in that case uh, you will display the pop item is the value of the deleted item and in case you press three, the peak function you will involve, you will involve. If SDK is empty, then return underflow. So, Jesse, you underflow return karoge. So, aapke pass, yahan pe agar item underflow hai, so message will be display underflow stock is, uh, stack is empty. Otherwise, here we will return, we will update. Uh, the, uh, we will uh, find out the value of top. Top is equal to length of stk minus one, and we will return stop. And display is in the reverse order. Okay, students. Now time is over. I am going to close the meeting. I will send this program through WhatsApp beta. Okay. Take care. Bye.